Hello guys, welcome to TF Flight C++ series. Today we're going to see how to do an image classification using TF Flight. First thing first, go to my GitHub page Karthik AI slash TF Flight. You can find all the code here. Now you can clone or download it as a zip. Once you download it, open it with your favorite editor. I'm using VS Code. There you can find project file TF Flight image classification. Inside you will find two files cmake list and main.cpp if you are not installed tensorflow lite in your system kindly watch my previous videos how to install tf lite in windows mac and linux i mentioned link in the below description okay now let's move to the code i will not bore you with writing line by line code instead i will explain it first cmake list we are setting cmake version project name then setting c++ version then we are configuring OpenCV. You can install OpenCV with VCPKG or directly download from the official website. Then we are including TF Flight directories. I already pushed with my GitHub code. You can find TF Flight this directory. Then we are creating executable with main.cpp file. Now we are linking our executable with TF Flight and OpenCV libraries. If it is Windows, it will use this code. If it is a Linux, it will use this code, or if it is a Mac, it will use this code. I already pushed pre-compiled TF Flight libraries in TF Flight dist folder. You can use it in your project. Now we will move to our main program. These are the header files we are going to use in this project. First we need to get the model file, model label file and input image file as an argument. Now we will load the model. We are creating unique pointer of TF flight model and load flat buffer build from model file. We are passing model file path as an argument. Then we will check model has been successfully loaded or not. Now we need to build the interrupter. Interrupter is an interface for running TensorFlow Lite models. A model whose lifetime must be at least as long as any interrupter. In principle, multiple interrupters can be made from a single model. We are creating interrupter using interrupter builder. Once it created, we will check it created successfully. Then we will allocate tensor for the interrupter. Then we are setting float 16 precision for FP32 calculation whenever possible. Then we are setting the number of threads available to the interrupter. This is pretty much same for all TF flight models. Now we need to get the input tensor dimensions. I am using the mobile net image classification model from the official TensorFlow Lite. First thing first, we need to get the inputs from the tensor and then we need to get the height, width and channels from the input tensor. Now we need to load the input image, we are using the OpenCV library. Using imread function, it will load the image from the file and save it as a CV mat data structure. We will check the image has been loaded successfully. Then we need to resize the image to the model input size. After, we need to copy the input size data to the interrupter. We are using memcopy to copy the image.data to the interrupter input tensor. This is the main part. Now we need to do the inference. Calling the invoke function from the interrupter, unique pointer will do that. We are using chrono library, compute the inference time and store it in a inference time variable. This code is not done yet. We need to extract the output from the interrupter. The output variable will hold the number of interrupter output. Then we will calculate the output size. Then we are creating the, the variable top result. It's a vector of pairs containing confidence and label index. Then we are creating a threshold variable. We need to set the value between 0 to 1. Then we need to get the top result from the interrupter output. For that, we need to check the output type. If it is an int 32, we will load this function. The first parameter is type to output tensor. Second is output size. Then how many top result we want. I mentioned only one. If you want many, put 5 or 10. Then we need to pass the threshold. Then we need to pass the address of the top result vector. Then output will be stored in this vector. Then finally, the float 32. If the type is unsigned int 8, only change the function in the final argument. Change to unsigned int 8. Other than that, we will exit the application. 
Now print the inference time in the image using the CV to text function. You can configure the font, point and line size and color. Now we got the confidence and index of the output in the top result vectors, but we need to match the index to the actual label name. The model label file is a text which has all label name in order. We need to pass the file in order to print the result. Let's create the parsing function called load labels, which takes label file path as an argument. It returns a vector of strings. It will try to open a file. If it is opened successfully using getLine function, and it will check line as a any value. If it is, then it push back into the vector. So it will be in the same order. Then we will close the file and return the vector. Finally, we will loop the top result vector. We already know it has only one value. Then we will get the confidence and index from the pair, and we map the index with the label vector to get the actual label name. And finally, we will add the text in the image. It contains label and confidence. You can edit as per your interest. Then we need to show the output image to the screen. That's it. It's time to build our application. Open the terminal, create the build directory. Go to the build folder and type cmake build command cmake space dot dot. It will build the Visual Studio solution. If you are in the Mac or Linux, it will build as a make file. You can use the make command to build the executable, but we are using the Windows here. So open the Visual Studio solution, then set the build type to release, and click the build solution. Once it build, go to the build directory, navigate to the release folder, open any command terminal. I am using commander. Type tfflight classification dot exe, then model file path. You can find model in the model directory. We are using the mobile net classification model. Then in the same directory, you can find label text file. Finally, the image file. I have already included the image file in the image directory. Then run the command. Tada! It took 248 milliseconds to predict the image in my system. It predicted correctly, and the confidence score is 0.15. You can change to your custom model and test the application. This application will run on Windows, Mac, and Linux. That's it, guys. You can find all my code in my GitHub repository. I mentioned link in the below description. See you in next video. Until then, adios, amigos.